morning, Martin here from True North. Want to speak to you about bitterness, but Christ that is being revealed in us. And um, I want you to read with me Revelation 10 verses 9 and 10. I, I read it out of the King James Version. It says, um, John saw an angel with a little book in his hand, and he said, And I went unto the angel and said unto him, Give me the little book. And he said unto me, Take it, take it, and eat it up. It shall make thy belly bitter, but it shall be in your mouth sweet as honey. Verse 10, And I took the little book out of the angel's hand and ate it up, and it was in my mouth sweet as honey. And as soon as I had eaten it, my belly was bitter. So I want to speak to you about bitterness. But before I can do that, I want to reveal to you something, first of all. Um, if you go to the, um, to the book of Peter, 2 Peter 1 verse 19, you shall see that the, uh, Peter is uh, saying, I have a sure word of prophecy. It is a day star in a dark place that needs to come forth. A day star that needs to come forth in a dark place. And then he said that that dark place is our hearts. So a day star in a dark place in our hearts that needs to come forth. Then we go to Revelation 22, verses 16, and we will read that John says, Jesus said, I am out of the root of David, I am the day star. A day star that wants to come forth and shine in a dark place, our hearts and in our lives. So we must remember that. Now, if we know that, we, we, we will read in Numeri 22, uh, uh, now, number 24, verse 17, it says that there shall come one, a star, out of Jacob, and he will crush Moab. He will crush Moab. So, it is important to understand a day star, a star is Jesus Christ. Now, we go to Revelation 8. And um, I'm going to read to you verses 10 and 11. And the third angel sounded, and there fell a great star from heaven, burning as it were a lamp. Jesus is the lamp. The word is a lamp unto our feet and a light to our path. So Jesus is the lamp. And I saw this um, in the third trumpet that blown. There were seven trumpets blown. When the third trumpet blown, I saw a great star. Hey, I believe it's the morning star, Revelation 22, Christ. F burning as it were a lamb, and it fell upon a third part of the rivers, upon the fountains of waters. Now, uh, uh, Revelation 17 verse 15 said that the waters that you see, John, it is um, multitudes. Um, of nations, it's people, it's dialect, um, so I believe when this star, the Christ, the day star, fell on earth, or fell on the waters, it fell on mankind, it fell in them. For some of them, it is a stumbling block. For some of them, if we go to um, <clears throat> first, uh, first Peter, 2 verse 7 and 8. Um, if, if we look there, we will see that Jesus Christ is a, a stone. And um, precious to some, but a stumbling block for some. So, when this rock fell on the ground, or on mankind, some people stumble against this rock, Jesus Christ, or against this star. But some, it was precious. So with that in mind, I want you to understand. Um, uh, let, first let me go on and say this. When this star fell on the water, the name of this star was Wormwood. Now Wormwood means bitterness. 
and it made the water warm a bitter and it made the water bitter and men died because of this bitterness men died because of this bitterness so I believe when this star fall upon uh, the ground 2000 years ago the Christ the people that were stumbled against this rock who did not receive Jesus Christ in their hearts they um, um, they were grieved and they were angry and they um, took it so far that they kill men if we go to uh, um, 2000 years ago when Jesus was uh, actually before Jesus Christ was there there was always this um, people that were against God's people but, but the, this first hundred year there was a lot of killings one million um, or three million Jews in that first hundred years and I believe it was the great tribulation um, died because of men that stumbled against this rock Jesus Christ they were against God now um, then there were precious men that receive um, this rock this day star in a dark place and they were changed it was sweet as honey in their mouth the word is Jesus Christ it is the spirit of Christ it felt in men it is sweet in your mouth but it is bitter in your stomach in your belly now bitterness is not always a bad thing some people love the taste of bitterness some love the taste of sweetness in your mouth but bitterness in your stomach in your belly is always bad that always wants to come out and that is why the word or the day star or Jesus Christ who is the light and life of men when you eat it when you take it in and it is here yeah, it is sweet but as soon it falls to your belly it goes in your deeper parts of your life in the dark place it, it, it's becoming bitter a good thing because bitterness in your belly wants to come out and that is the word the power and the light of of the word wants always to come out to change men and to help men and bring salvation that is why bitterness is sometimes a good thing and bitterness in this sense was the word that John ate it was sweet it 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 is good it tasted good it's powerful it brings favor when you speak it but it is so powerful when it is consumed in your belly and it that is where the place where the food joins with your blood and um, getting a part with you and that wants to come out so the word of God wants to come out of us the day star wants to shine through us now Revelation 22 verses 10 says Jesus this following to John John do not seal up this prophecy what prophecy or this book because the time is at hand 2000 years ago he see what happened on the day of the cross so he explains that to the seven churches and he said do not seal it the word of God is powerful and it's light and it must not be sealed that is why it is bitter it must be bitter in your belly so that it can come forth in a dark place our our body is an earthen vessel but we have this great treasure the life and the light of God in earthen vessel that wants to come forth I hope you understand and may this have uh, may you have a blessed day in Jesus mighty name Amen